Welcome back everybody to more Resident Evil 4 Atome Edition. Yes, yeah, subscribe, like, comment, share to your friends and loved ones. I think we all know the drill. You can check the links down below if you want to. If you don't, got a complaint already, then go for it in the comment down below or dislike this video. It's on you. No problem, my man or woman. Yeah. Going back to the game. Uh, did I read this? I think I did. The thing combusted the barrels and I think the plan worked on uh to our to our work in our favor oh here we go the og you know animation i'll try to do the voices but at the same time i don't know let's see if i can or cannot i don't really understand why a church would have explosive barrels on hand maybe that was their wine is wine flammable live hard drink harder i guess if we're getting the space bar Oh, I get it. That must have been the communion card filled with the blood of Christ, which erupts into flames of perdition. I don't know. Feels like someone is confusing their testaments. <laughs> All right, let's like I was like coughing and laughing. Nonetheless, the Spanish flea song is in my head. Oh, okay. When the villagers crushed and or combusted by their own flaming paddy wagon, we took the opportunity to run past. Between the oppressive darkness and the driving rain, I could barely see the path, but Leon seemed to know where he was going, so I just followed closely. Oh, yep, that's, yep, that's definitely lightning, and that's not ominous at all, nuh uh. One might say it's sacrilege to kill the faithful in such a hallowed place, but it's even greater sacrilege to think, well, at least you won't have to drag the bodies far. I think we'll be going to throughout, throughout the whole game with Ashley commentating. This is her POV, by the way. Having escaped the crazy villagers, we jogged leisurely down a narrow forest path until it abruptly ended at the ladder. Hmm. In standard horror movie fashion, going forward meant going down. True. That's... No, that is... That is fact. Right there. Got something that might interest you. The ladder took us into a dark cavern, notably devoid of trigger warnings for claustrophobia. Or worse, cave crickets. We moved briskly down the tight path and soon found ourselves in front of a rusty door. Leon began to push open the door with the tenderness of a kitten. I'm not sure if I should be charmed by his newfound discretion or alarmed by his sudden caution. What in blue ba blazes? I was immediately enraptured by the warmth circling the cavern. I felt safe. Cozy even. If only I had a glass bottle, I could take some of this feeling with me and maybe melt the ice around Leon's demeanor. Hmm. It was perhaps the soothing nature of the flames that kept me from screaming when I saw the figure stationed between them. Whoa, who's the man in black? Another secret agent or just a run-of-the-mill small-town gun nut going through a man cave phase? Ah, oh, why am I seeing bubbles and sparkles again? How hard up am I? Whoa, why is my eye moving this way? Is the parasite giving me superpowers? I feel like I could sneak in a lot more gawking before it got awkward. Where do you even get a coat like this? Suspicious person thrift shop? Let's focus on something else. I dig the bandana. It says, I no sacrifice fashion just to obscure my identity. It also looks pretty warm, much unlike myself right now. My, what a big sack he has. <laughs> Let's focus on something else, alright. Hmm, hands a little dirty, but it adds convincingly to the forest hobo aesthetic he's got going. Oh, I wish I could have checked him out longer, but honestly, if he's good enough for Bubbles, he's good enough for me. Crack my neck, sorry. Leon approached the man casually, so I assumed they were working together in some capacity. What it would be, stranger? The more the merrier, I guess. He's not as clean looking as Leon, but he may be better armed. A girl in peril has to keep her options open. Welcome! Got a selection of... Good things on sale, stranger. Stranger. Huh, not the accent I was expecting. 
but in a good way. Australian maybe? Oh. You want some you want some jimmies? Hmm, you're a jack, I see. Jack or dog? For those who don't know, dog means cop, jack means uh undercover. Wait, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm getting those two mixed up. I'm all about the thunder down under. Did they really just think that? What a question wait no, Jack means Dog means undercover cop. Jack means you're a rat, a snitch, or, or an informant. Dimmies, dimmies in Australian means um, dumplings. Correct me if I'm wrong. While I question my moral credibility, Leon started browsing the man's inventory. What are you buying? Well, listen here, stranger. I want some Maccas, alright? Maccas. <laughs> Thank you. No, definitely not Australian. Is that all, stranger? Is that all, stranger? What are you selling? The merchant quipped enthusiast. Yeah, <laughs> it is pretty funny when you think about it in her POV. The merchant quipped enthusiastically as Leon stoically per peruses his peruses his wares. A peruse. Maybe it's part of Leon's safety protocol to avoid conversation where when possible. Ah. I'll buy it at a high price. The merchant man seemed pretty excited about some jewels Leon showed him. Whoa, is that the bejeweled beer stein? Beer stein, sorry. Whoa, is that the bejeweled beer stein? Am I observing the black market in real time? I can't believe they're making Leon break barrels and pilfer valuables just to obtain supplies. Either my rescue is a low budget affair or our foreign policy is woefully inadequate. Come back at a time. As they finished shopping, I thought I should wave to the merchant man, but I didn't want to mistakenly initiate another romance just yet. I wonder what that was for. Testing in the water for traps, maybe? Still, it seems a little rude to just vandalize the merchant's place of business. Whatever the reason, Leon swept right past the flame like a man on a mission. By which I mean he hurried over to a box tucked in a nook. A nook and cranny. I see by instinct he drew his knife. Oh, I know what's gonna happen this time. Up oh, more ammo. Uh crates really do hold a lot of use. We ran through the remaining tunnel and climbed some stairs to another ladder leading upward. As I ascended, I heard the telltale sound of wood being victimized. Yup, definitely Leon's handiwork. Once at the top, I huddled close to Leon again as he approached the door to the next room. Despite all of Leon's caution, the room was pretty barren. Save for a bizarrely large typewriter on the table, or maybe regular size. I don't know, I wasn't born in the 50s. Maybe someone's writing a novel. I guess I tried to be a writer too if it got me out of Blight Town. Better frame rate edition. Leon suddenly did the save. I'm kidding, she doesn't know that. Perhaps he has the Hemingway aspirations? Would explain the terseness. As it happens, he was simply typing a record of his time and location. He also mentioned professional mode in round 2, which I could only assume was spy lingo. <laughs> For those who don't know, professional mode is the hardest mode in this game, or for the OG version. Okay, now I'm doubting myself. I think I'm misremembering this. Ah, screw it. Uh, let's see. I guess he's using the typewriter to let someone know his progress. I don't get why everything has to be so convoluted. Don't we have stealth jets? Wow, is Leon really going to ignore that trait? You think you know a guy. <laughs> I was about to say, why? Why would he? Oh, his inventory is full, 100%. That's what I think. Painting the town red, Doja Cat. We found ourselves once again assailed by rain and darkness. All of a sudden, the relative safety of the previous room seemed worlds away. An unnervingly low vibration hung in the air, staring in me a feeling of dread. Or maybe it was the shrieks of bloodthirsty villagers that had me on edge. Will these people not sleep? It's like 1 in the morning, or at least it feels like it's 1 in the morning. When you think about in Ashley's POV, it's hella scary. 
I mean, some unknown island, some creep just injected you with his DNA and now you're with a hunk. But it still doesn't feel safe because you're in an unknown land, unknown area, unknown town or city, in an unknown village. With weird people. Yeah, I'd be scared as well. And with an eerie tone of it all, you know, it's like, it's like Silent Hill. Calm down, everyone. I'm not comparing the two games one to one. I'm just, you know, it's a reference kind of thing. It's like a comparison, a weird, in more of a the vibe I'm getting. Resident Evil has that action, action horror puzzle vibe, while or exploration. Silent Hill has that exploration as well, but it really leans into the story horror aspect, right? You're not going in their guns blazing. I mean, technically, maybe Resident Evil tries to do that, but it still feels like you could, you could maneuver your way around the horror elements. Leon led me into a tower and started climbing up an uncomfortably tall ladder. So wait, he's got the guns and the muscles and I'm the one going up second? Guess there's no sex discrimination around here. Fine, your gentlemen are dead, so are proper ladies. I'm gonna check out his butt the whole way up. That'll show him. I mean, it's too dark to really see, but it's not like I deserve to see something so wonderful anyway. Suddenly, and if we're being honest, expectedly someone snatched me up and tossed me over their shoulder. I flayed and punched as wide as a person who never exercises could, and you might be surprised to find out that it had no effect. None, hard to believe, but it's true. Given the situation, I did what any damsel in very, in very great distress would do. Leon! Yup. Yup, classic, classic Ashley calling for help. Hey, it's Leon. Please don't shoot my leg, Leon. <laughs> You're gonna say, ow? <gasps> I scrambled to my feet, eager to put some distance between me and Pablo the kidnapper. But when I looked at him, his body remained limp. I realize that it's insensitive to just sell, call a random Spanish man Pablo, but screw Pablo, he was a cultist. I agree. What is it they say about insanity? It's doing the same thing and expecting different results. Sounds about right. Yup. Um, va who was it? Was it Vass? From... Far... Far Cry 3? You know what? You know what the definition of insanity is? Do you? Yeah, I can't do his voice. It, that was that was horrible. That was the worst impression I've ever heard. I dedicated a little less time to admiring Leon's glutes and began climbing myself. It's really amazing what getting snatched by a cultist will do for one sphere of heights. Phew! What a climb, but not a bad idea to stick to a higher ground and force them into a funnel. We should be more dirty safe, right? Sunday they can throw stuff this high, right? I scanned the area below for any cultists with pitching aspirations. Just Wait then. Wait here. Wait here for what? My expiration date to pass? And he's gone. My hero. Yup. He has got to have government implants in his legs. Got to. Which begs the question. What other parts of his body has the government enhanced? I'm asking for me. Hmm. I hovered over the edge and squinted my eyes against the darkness. Trying to watch for Leon's movements below. I wonder what his plan is. You know, aside from murder. Murder it is then. Not an original plan, but solid. Leon rushed past the villager as he wailed in pain, but the darkness made it difficult to see what was going on. What the hell did I just see? Were those worms coming out of his head? Oh, Calm down, Ashley. It's gonna be... Oh, sweet baby Jesus, it's gonna, it's not gonna be okay. My head is gonna be worms and perhaps even worse. Leon's head is gonna be worms. I shakily looked up and over the railing. I figured it's already scarred for life, so I might as well stay abreast of current events. Ouch, a flashbang by, from, by the lightning or thunderstorm that's happening up ahead. As if on cue, some more of the villagers stumbled out from the shadows. Weapons in hand. Granted, those weapons were more like farm tools, but eh, semantics. Te voy a hacer picadillo. Te voy a hacer picadillo. A picadillo. Not like armad. Sounds like an adorable nickname for a nosy armadillo. But it's probably something lame like "You're mean meat," as if anyone outside of cartoons even says "mean meat" anymore. <laughs> Amazingly, the cultist was only stunned by the blow. Rural folk are indeed hardy. 
I mean, farming gets you sturdy and rough. My god, it's like Chuck Norris. If Chuck Norris were worth thinking about. Leon ran back to the base with the tower and called up. Follow me. I don't usually like being told what to do, but for Leon, I'll make an exception. I approached the ladder and prepared to climb down, but it then occurred to me. How much longer would I have the luxury of attractive men catching me when I jump? Seems like a waste to just do things normally. Yeah. Am I crazy? Phew, in hindsight, that was extremely dumb of me. Thank goodness I'm in love with a robot. Yeah, Rigon is pretty, like, mechanical when it comes to the game, game-wise. We ran behind the tower down a dirt road. The whole area kind of reminded me of my Graham parents. We lived in a rural part of Wisconsin. Just swap torches for porch lights and crazy cultists for trashy druggies and it's basically the same thing. Hmm. I mean they even have bear traps in the street. It's my childhood summer all over again. And what's with the knife? Surely he's not going to... Oh god, I thought his arm would have... Oh, he's... Oh god, thank you. Phew! His delicious biceps are still tethered to his shoulders. Scared me half to death. Still risking your own arm to conserve a bullet? I shudder to think of how the man budgets groceries. <laughs> Resident Evil forces you to think, be resourceful enough, you know, to conserve your resources. Be more... How do we say this? Uh, someone who properly... Be more... We have a mindset of micromanagement with your resources. I wonder if that cultist set the cultist set the bear trap. Maybe that's how people snag brides around here. Could be. Wow, a bullet saved is a bullet used. I guess I'd say I'm blown away, but I think the other guy has me beat in that department. Sorry, my dude. There seemed to be a large gate at the end of the path. I could feel a surge of adrenaline in my legs as we approached. I didn't know what was on the other side, but anything had to be better than somehow worse Wisconsin. For those who are watching me, which part of the US are you? Don't dox yourself, but if you are from Wisconsin, comment down below. You know, it's like, or have you have visited the place? Is it true what Ashley is saying, or it's just a stereotype? I mean, stereotypes have some truth in them, right? But not fully. Like half and half. Half like... Yeah, it does happen in half, like, exaggerated. Okay, that's a lie because there are lots of things that could be worse. Probably, like, uh... Oh my lord, saddle! No bad brain, no one would ever want to ride that saddle. Mmm, me gusta. Wait! A collision with Leon's shapely back muscles returned me to reality before I could dwell any longer that blazing saddle. I could see the gate just ahead, blocked by a lone villager brandishing a torch. Maybe block is overselling it a little. It's a blockade in the same way that the traffic cone is a blockade for a twister. Yeah, that worked out about as well as I expected. Sorry, my other dude. In the abstract, I felt sorry for the man. What kind of person was he? What were his dreams? Well, this village sold its soul to Lord Sadler, and Lord Sadler sold his soul for money. So, yeah. With the path clear, the only thing standing between us and the gate was more bear traps. Because if you can't stop people with torches, broken feet, and tetanus is apparently the next best thing. Episode 9, Down in the Dumps. Do we even have an inventory? Well, we have barrels don't have stuff oh sorry I skip a little bit there we go Leon ventured in cautiously and surveyed the area considering the church group he just demolished it does seem conspiracy quiet here hmm there's a shed over there seems like a decent place to lay low while Leon clears a path maybe I'll suggest it suddenly into my confusion Leon turned towards a lonely open dumpster my initial thought was that the mission coordinators had stored more of his supplies in the garbage. I wasn't sure if that constituted an upgrade from boxes. On one hand, metal is sturdier. On, uh, on the other hand, garbage. Garbage! 
Ashley, hide. Wait, what? Is this a joke? But then part of me knew it wasn't. My body shivered, shedding off generations of hygienic conditioning. I jumped inside without a second thought. I mean, this whole village looks like it's a garbage dump. No offense, alright? I held my breath as the lid closed above me. As I scooted my body around, I was surprised to realize that the bin was bereft of garbage. Either rural Spain has pretty good sanitation management or the villagers are too busy being crazy to throw their trash away. Or maybe they're eating the garbage? Would, uh, would address the hunger issue? Regardless, it doesn't change the fact that the only handsome man around had just ordered me to sit in a musty waste bin in rural Europe with a parasite roaming around my guts. I don't want to say unwanted pregnancy metaphor, but yeah, I kind of do. I shifted comfortably, uncomfortably in the dumpster. In this awkward crouch, my legs began to sober up from the adrenaline rush only to discover that a whole lot of pain had moved in. Angered by the needling hurt, I couldn't help but lash out at everything that seemed responsible for my predicament, excluding myself. Stupid saddle, stupid Klaus, stupid Jenna, stupid government class, stupid geopolitical dynamics, everything stupid. I took a deep breath and sighed. I'm getting too wound wound up. Oh, I know. Is it wound up? I think it's wound up. I'm getting too wound up. Oh, I know. I should do some of those meditate exercises that my life coach taught me. Any life coaches in the com and the people watching or, or for the people watching right now? Do, does, what do you actually do? I'm just, no. This ain't no disrespect. I'm curious because quick Google search it just gives me a general idea. It doesn't really give me like what do you actually do, right? And does it pay well? That's a good question. Okay, Ashley, you're on a beautiful beach. The sand is soft, sun warmed, nestled between your toes. Your personal bodyguard is lounging nearby, baking his delicious abs to a golden sheen. Your personal butter appears in dashing attire, offering a comforting smile and a refreshing pina colada. Extra rum, of course. Your personal dolphin trainer is putting on an an oh I'm, I'm having a stroke I'm sorry, is putting on an adorable show with your personal dolphin, Flippy, water spraying all over the trainer's rippling pecs. Any more Leon's here? I guess so. <coughs> Ew. It occurred to me then, amidst my fantasies, that Leon might finally be in danger or worse. Terrified by this prospect, I thought to peek out for a look. But I knew it would be just my luck that some stray cultist would walk by the moment and see me. Instead, I placed my ear close to the wall of the bin, being careful not to get too close. It's too much to hope Saddle laces parasite injection with some vaccines. Or vaccines. I strained my ear listening intently to the world outside my garbage sanctuary. I couldn't hear much at all aside from the occasional thunderclap in the distance. Man, I feel so... This I feel real bad for Ashley, man. She's like... She was in college, or was it like she was in her late teens? Maybe even younger, if I recall. Before the creeping terror of my savior's demise could ensnare my thoughts, the shrill sound of a gunshot burst into my eardrum. A somewhat morbid but nonetheless comforting symbol of hope and salvation. Well, for me, anyway. Assured of Leon's survival, I resume my affordable listening. Well, someone is getting clapped. Is Leon okay? Are the cultists gone? Can I get out of this godforsaken dumpster? What? Was that a whistle? Is he trying to signal that it's safe? I mean, I've only ever heard that whistle used to beckon someone. And by someone, I mean a pet. Hey, that, <laughs> that is the funny animation she does. You know, getting out of the dumpster. Thank God that's over. By the way, if I smell like rotten meat products, that's just too bad for Leon. Ew. That's how she get- okay. Speaking of Leon, I scanned the area for him. It was difficult to see, but I found him by the flash of a stray lightning bolt, standing on what seemed like a bridge connected to the farmhouse. In that moment, his dirty blonde locks seemed like the beacon of a lighthouse shining fiercely against a cold, black sea, like poetry in the shape of a man. Well, it doesn't seem like he's making any move to jump down and escort me over there, but he's been working pretty hard, so I'll cut him some slack and do some legwork. Thank God. 
On my way, I was surprised by the lack of bodies on the ground. Maybe the cultists are just literalists or literalists on the whole dust to dust concept? As I ran, I became keenly aware of how insane this all was. People dying and for what? Is it all just for politics? And who stands to gain? One power hungry old man? Or is this bigger than Saddle? Bigler, Bigler, what the fuck? Yeah, bigger than all of us. What if this goes all the way to the Illuminati? Mmm. I mean, my struggles to glimpse the machinations of this mad world. It didn't take long to reach Leon. My head snapped back like a piston when I heard some ah uh, behind me. Are there still villagers out here? Someone refusing the call of dustiness? Maybe I should ask the universe save and some other things. Before I could open my mouth to speak, Leon spun on his heels. I was a little disappointed, but in hindsight, the creepy sounds behind me were a tad more immediate. Leon lep leaped or lep leper, sorry. Leon leaped down from the bridge. I could see a ladder on the ground already. I'm just going to presume he kicked that down because he likes catching me so much. As I prepared to jump myself, Leon raised his gun and looked directly at me. I could feel my cheeks flushing under his intense gaze, realizing that he could easily see my lacy panties from this angle. I instinctively pulled out my squirreled at my skirt. I didn't really understand what Leon was doing, but the sudden self-consciousness -consci called for it a common refrain in the lives of women. Ow, you pervert! <sighs> well, this is not a great feeling. Really mortifying, really. Not sure how should I proceed. Oh god, he's starting to dissolve on me. Ew! Jump! Jump! If Leon's upset about the pervert comment, he's certainly not letting it impact his professionalism. I wish dudes in the train were half so gracious. If everybody was Leon, damn, I'd, we'd, all, our, all the average dudes like me in the world would be fucked. I inspected my clothes to check that ick didn't get too much cultist dust on me. Also, I know I didn't pay, m pay attention in chemistry class, but now I'm thinking I really didn't pay attention in chemistry class. There was another giant wooden gate in front of us, once again guarded by bear traps. I see the creativity well has run pretty dark drawing these parts. Ooh, that's a that's a that's a sh throwing some shade with the devs right there. Um, okay, so we're playing Leapfrog now. Not exactly the back touching opportunity I was expecting. Oh wait, he must not think that we can just go through the gate. So you must want me to climb over it. It could have saved us some trouble by just talking like a normal person. I swear Techie believes a strong sign type is an actual personality. I agree. <sighs> but at least we have Leon's fa uh, most famous quote. Where is everybody going? Oh wait, I'm sorry. Where'd everybody go? Bingo? I heard he climbed into his back and let his taxpayer funded muscles elevator me to the top. If only all of America's revenue could be so well spent. Ashley, the <laughs> ultimate Leon Glazer. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Ew. And no one to catch me this time. You can do this, Ashley. One, two, three. Alright, she hit the ground, scuffing her boot and tearing a ligament. Yikes. Fortunately, there were lanterns around the door, although that left me a bit paranoid about who had lit them and whether they were still prowling about. There was a large blank covering the door, but I easily pushed it up and to the side. I opened it, Leon. I whispered, trying to avoid undue attention. Okay. Oh, is this the part where he gets infected? Mmm, must kill Ashley. I need more Margaret. Oh. Alright, let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. I think that would be in the later part. Yeah, that was in the later part. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm misremembering. And we're back for another riveting installment of European backpacking gone wrong. What dangers await us? Bludgeoning? Impalement? A crushing exchange rate? Let's find out. Ooh-wee! Hey! After a few seconds of jogging, we came to the merchant once again. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. 
Wait, didn't we last see this guy in that underground passage? How exactly did he get ahead of us? And and you know what? That's a good question, Ashley, but we will never know. Because all these merchants in these Resident Evil games, they're mysterious by themselves. I'd say their skills, if they're actually human, will be equivalent to Hunk. You know, Special Agent Hunk. The logical answer is that the mission coordinators had Leon and the merchant take different paths in order to reduce suspicion. Granted, not sure how much faith I have in logic these days. But it would explain their communication strategy. What are you selling? Yeah. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. I appreciate that Daddy was going to have such lengths in order to rescue me without creating a controversy. He doesn't have a lot of political capital right now. Truly, that's the reason for all this recon work, right? Please, God, let me be right about something good for once. Come back at any time. All right, enough bartering. Let's go. Oh, it's a rickety bridge. Leon stopped abruptly in the middle of the bridge, turning his attention to the fancy radio buzzing on his hip. I'd rather not hear it. While Leon took in what I assume was at best inconvenient news, I looked back down the bridge to see the merchant still standing there. He seems so detached, like a statue, or Eve, or Steven Seagal. <laughs> huh, action man Steven Seagal. Actually, Leon reminds me a lot of Steven Seagal, now that I think about it. I want to say it's his eyebrows, but it's probably just the general air of my first language's bullets. I mean, Steven Seagal kinda had that action charm back then, but now he's, uh, ooh. I mean, he's old, but he, he got real lazy. So, I don't know. I don't know if that makes him a good man or a dangerous man, but when you've been marked for death, the fact that he's hard to kill is enough to give a girl a fire down below. Oh. Great. Got it. Rather than share his feelings about the general crappiness of that update, he immediately resumed running down the bridge. Okay, I mean, he's a man of the work, you know? Blast of lightning illuminated an old cabin. Okay, is this the part? Let's see. Oh, I remember this. Damn it, I said I wanted to be right about something. Good for once. Good! Maybe we can uh, go back the other way. You know, group up with that merchant, buy a rocket launcher. You know, I don't know about that. Oh. What? Wow, it's like everybody in the whole village is here. Hey, wait. What happened to the merchant? Did they swallow him with their organized rage? Did he escape before they absorbed his polygons? Realizing that our peril was a tad more immediate, I looked to Leon in a panic. What are we gonna do, Leon? I hate to say it, but we're sandwiched, all right. Quick, in that cabin. I certainly didn't want to be an Ashley sandwich, so I sprinted as fast as my tired legs could manage. I remember this part. They have to, if I recall, they have to hold out in this cabin while swarms of enemies jump right in this small ass fucking cabin. I think it was a timer, like three or five minutes. I could be wrong. It could be ten. Leon reached the door first and smashed it open, being sure to first scan the room with his gun drawn. I mean, I wouldn't call it thorough, but it's a principle I'm attracted to. Hey, it's the scientist. As the villagers descended upon us, Leon yanked me into the room and slammed the door. I knew we needed to secure the door somehow, but I was at a loss, so I just left it up to him. Then from behind us, a voice rang out, energetic and clear. Leon. How rude! Just hurting planks of wood at unsuspecting people. It's a good thing I ho honed Leon's reflexes. We both swiveled around to see who was behind us. Leon didn't immediately draw his gun, so I figured we were relatively safe as the lone man strutted towards us. Small world, eh? Wait, how did I respond to this situation again? My memory is fuzzy. That's interesting. Can we save this? I'm saving. Ah, yes, that's it. I remember it perfectly. A statement made for by Zark Muckerberg. Uh oh, she's triggered. Oh no, I know that strut and I ain't in the mood for no Spanish Kyle. These fuck boys are like bowling pins. You gotta knock him down hard and fast before they can even think about commenting on my glorious tatas. How 
for you. I asserted venomously like the debate club bronze medalist that I am. Oh, oh, excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Yeah, you're gonna regret calling me your highness when I'm queening your stupid fuckboy face. But for the moment, I should represent my country with grace and introduce myself. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. I turned away sharply to signal that he wasn't fit to be associated with American royalty. Mm hmm. Which he either took to heart or ignored completely. <laughs> Man, I feel bad. This guy died. Spoiler alert. Sorry about that. If I recall, he died. He did not make out of this. He did not make out. Uh, make it out alive in this uh, from this island. Is she? Well, you know. What are we talking about? No, I don't know. And there's gonna be some dead fuck boys in this room if I don't find out soon. Don't worry, she's cool. Don't worry, she's cool. Don't worry, she's cool. Don't worry. Oh, she's mad. She's cool. Women, am I right? And that's how we get canceled. Oh fuck. <laughs> supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. Astaban? What the f This fucking studded seems awfully well informed. As the highest ranking American official in this room, I think it's time to throw my rate around, wait around, and get some answers. Well, I couldn't ask him any more questions because survival mode is here. <laughs> Now that they think about it, they have taken a really long time to walk what was seriously like 30 feet. I'd almost think they were zombies. Ashley, upstairs. I mean, I'd go upstairs as well. Fuck that. Uh, good luck, Leon. Alright. And you too. Hey, wait a second. He forced me to introduce myself and then didn't return the courtesy. Hmm. Men. Am I right? <laughs> there you go, women. I got you. I ain't double standarding or double standards. Not um. Once upstairs, I found a bureau, a bureau, and huddled inside. Adrenaline was again was again coursing through my body, but with no way to expend it, I became or I became nervous and fidgety. In an effort to distract myself, I pressed my ear close to the bureau door, or bureau, and listened carefully. Huh, deja vu. At least it's not a garbage bin. That's true. This is better than a garbage bin, uh, for a fact. I guess we'll find out who's got the better plot armor. Well, you, spoiler alert. Wait, wait, wait. With the prospect of untimely demise in my hand, I couldn't help but feel guilty for what I had said to El Nino. Maybe I shouldn't have been so quick to anger. I mean, I don't know any Spanish men. What if fuckboy struts are just a cultural norm? That hardly seems like the worst thing. What the fuck are fuckboy uh, struts? Comment down below because I'm kind of confused. Oh shit, I blurted it out when the pounding began. I know my etiquette instructor would be mortified by my language, but screw her. She was never attacked by zombie cultists. I agree. Okay, Ashley, just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. In times of great duress, it is prudent to relax the mind with calming imagery. Okay. Okay, she's gonna once again uh, imagine herself in some other place. Maybe a beach? No, a forest. One that's not as creepy as this one. You're in a serene forest untouched by mankind. Wisps of honeysuckle tickle your nose. A delightful warbling glides down from the branches and caresses your ears. God damn, that's a slim, that's a younger Leon. That's a, that's a Resident Evil 2 Leon. Raccoon City. My God, I forgot his name, my man, the Spanish dude. Anyway, it is a Le uh, Le Leon from Legend of Zelda. All right, we, okay, this is going to fantasy land. She's going goo goo gaga for both of these men. A sensation of joy permeates her being. Your GPA is higher than Jenna's. Nobody has worm heads. Repeat, nobody's a worm heads. And snap back to reality, I guess. Uh oh, sounds like something crashed downstairs. Did the villagers manage to breach the door or maybe the windows? Listening closely, I could barely make out voices. 
Alistar. Agala. You know, now that I think about it, we're in someone's house. Are we the intruders? Property violations are such a messy legal territory. It's like you're going in the whole village is here. I mean, that's what that's what she did actually say that inside her mind. Well, I guess you can't intrude when there's no one left to intrude upon. A stream of gunshots sounded from downstairs and moved progressively closer. Oh god, are they coming upstairs? Yeah, upstairs. Jesus, I really got to ask Leon for one of his guns. Hey, to kill me? Hey, you can't kill me? Flash grenades in this tiny space? That can't be good for Leon's beautiful eyes. Did you send those invitations? I told you, no more, no, no more than 50 people. Hmm, a confident quip or gallows humor? I guess we'll know shortly. The gunshots persisted for another minute and I half expect to go deaf from all the noise. But then, it was over. I told you man, it was a limited survival mode, or event. Propelled by curiosity, I peeked outside of the bureau. Some blood stains in the ground, but otherwise it was clear. I'm just so impressed by how the cultists disappear. So e eco-conscious. Well, they are terrorists, but not eco-terrorists. Just, you know, the, in the future games. I jumped out of the closet and made my way downstairs. Hey guys, thanks for say saying something. Really appreciate it. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out. So I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. The bridge is out? What? Did they burn it behind them? Also, how does he know that already? I forgot something. The game you script. Go on ahead. Yeah, I'd say you forgot something. It's called Good Manners. Lewis. Oh, it's Louise. So his name is Lewis? Huh. Too bad, Javier was really growing on me. I wonder what Louis' Louis's story is. He seems forlorn, forlorn for the playboy type. I like a man who subverts expectations. We watched Louis, Louis. Great, I'm thrown off with the accent. We watched Louis walk away into the night. I glanced at Leon, who seemed rather solemn himself. How does he know Louis, anyways? The guy doesn't seem like an agent. So much intrigue and drama. I feel like my brain brain is going to pop. Although that might just be the ringing from all the gunshots. Or the worm. Or something else. Maybe something worse. Mm -hmm. But keep your... Uh, keep your mood in an uppity level, Ashley. Episode 12. With everyone but us gone, an unnerving quiet descended upon the cabin. The whole place felt painfully lonely. Oh, here we go again, everyone. And Leon meant to keep it that way. I followed behind him as usual. Like, yeah, what am I, what is Ashley supposed to do? Either that or stay somewhere. But I'm assuming they have a tracker when it comes to Ashley. Still, I couldn't help but look back towards the obviously not out bridge and wonder if I'd ever see Louise again. I guess Leon doesn't know everything. Since we had a breeder, Leon hustled around the area, grabbing convenient stores of ammo, sitting atop crates and logs, kind of like Christmas as imagined by the NRA. <laughs> For those who don't know the NRA, they're the national... I forgot what the R and A stands for, but they're, they're the... They like guns, alright? They're an advocate for guns. For me, I, I don't have much opinion on that. I'm not in America. I don't know what's uh, about that. Politics about that and what's actually supposed to be done. Policies regarding guns. With spoils in tow, we headed towards the back gate where the villagers had flooded in from. A merchant man, you're alive! What? Huh. Okay. I was terribly sorry about that old chum. I was called away for a bit. You know how it is with blutters in mobs. Now about his promotions you mentioned. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. I love the merchant man. What an OG character. Stranger. No, for real. How did he avoid being gored? Is he in cahoots with the villages or villagers? Is Saddle using him as a spy? I'm confused. I don't want to believe any of that. So let's tap the old fallback plan. Magic. Oh, oh, I feel a portmanteau come, portmanteau coming on. Stranger, stranger. Now that's a weapon. Now that's a weapon that I'm about to end this video right on. This is like episode two. 
for Resident Evil 4 Tome Edition. You're hearing my chair squeak right now. Sorry about that. It's an old chair. I got old equipment. But hey, it is what it is. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, share to your friends and loved ones. I'll be seeing you in a different video. Thank you for clicking on this one. If you want more, like, comment down below or subscribe. But for you clicking on this is already greatly appreciated. A view for me is already a win. So, yeah. Thank you. Sleep tight. Good night. Sweet dreams, everyone. Bye.